Elon Musk has quoted the movie Spaceballs time and time again, referring to Tesla's world-renowned hyper-acceleration cars. He said there's only one thing faster than ludicrous speed. You know, there's, uh, I don't know if you've watched Spaceballs movie, but there's, there's, only thing, there's only one thing that's beyond ludicrous, which is plaid. <laughs> Tesla's plaid mode was originally intended for the new Roadster, Tesla's refreshed sports car on which the company was built. The Tesla Roadster will likely begin deliveries in 2022 with increased range of over 600 miles, huge for an electric vehicle, and it will be the fastest production car in the world. However, Elon Musk subsequently announced that Tesla's Model S and X would be getting this ultra-fast plaid mode as well, even though both vehicles fall mainly under Tesla's premium family car category. While the Model S sedan is a fairly large vehicle, Tesla's plaid version is said to approach a 0-60 to 60 acceleration time near the 2-second barrier, which begs the question, how fast is the smaller, lighter weight Roadster? In 2017, Elon Musk tweeted that the Roadster's plaid version would actually be part of the base model, and there would be a special option package to take it to the next level, even beyond plaid, which breaks Elon's rule of there only being one thing faster than plaid. Tesla would add rocket technology to the Roadster and make it the fastest production car ever. The new mode, potentially being called Spaceballs mode, will defy physics and allow Roadster to accelerate from 0 to 60 in just 1.1 seconds. Tesla intends to put high-pressure cold gas thrusters behind the license plate in order to propel the Roadster at this extreme speed. Again, no real fuel is required. The vehicle sucks in and compresses ambient air powered by an electric motor and stores it in tanks that will replace the rear seats for roasters that come with the SpaceX package. Later, the license plate would flip down and force the air out at high speeds to propel itself forward. Elon Musk has stated in the past that there will be 10 small rocket thrusters placed around the vehicle that would also improve braking and cornering as well. It's still not known what configuration Tesla plans to use or if they've changed the plans. Not only will the Roadster be able to accelerate faster on the road than a Roadster falling out of a plane towards the Earth, but the Roadster will be able to accelerate more than 10 times faster than a Boeing 737 when it takes off the runway. Elon has even said on multiple occasions that the Roadster will be able to fly, at least temporarily. Rocket technology applied to a car opens up revolutionary possibilities. Let's calculate the new Roadster's acceleration given what we know. 60 miles per hour translates to 26.82 meters per second. In just over one second, the Roadster is able to reach this speed. So if we assume a constant acceleration and we divide this change in velocity over 1.1 seconds, the Roadster is able to accelerate at 24.38 meters per second squared. To better put this into context, let's divide this number by the rate at which gravity accelerates objects to get a g-force of about 2.5. This means that when you're sitting in the Roadster, the force you will feel upon acceleration is 2.5 times your normal body weight under gravity. Elon Musk describes this as your very own roller coaster. Now will competitors be able to catch up to Tesla and copy this feature? Well, anything is possible, but no other car company's CEO is also the CEO of a rocket company, so it's highly unlikely. Actually, this type of acceleration isn't really even possible without some type of additional force such as a rocket booster. Any other vehicle will never be able to accelerate that quickly, which is regular tires on pavement alone, and the reason for that is the lack of traction between the rubber and the road. Cold gas thrusters, however, shoot air out the back of the vehicle and push off the surrounding air. In this case, the tires are just holding up the car, but the real force will come from the thrusters. With a regular vehicle, the tires effectively push off the road. One way to determine the maximum traction of a vehicle's tires is to look at the braking distance or the time it takes for a vehicle to come to a complete stop. For many vehicles, a two-second stop going from 60 to 0 is their absolute limit before the tires lose traction. If this was any quicker, the wheels would simply slide on the ground. ABS brakes are a type of brakes that counter this by giving more gas to the wheels so that they don't slide. While in the midst of braking, there are also other forces at play that help the vehicle slow down, such as friction and air resistance. When accelerating, however, 
These forces go in the opposite direction of the vehicle, trying to slow it down. So the 0 to 60 acceleration time is always higher than the 60 to 0 stop time. Heavy vehicles, and electric vehicles are known to be quite heavy, have the benefit of increased friction between the tires and the road. For example, it's much more difficult to slide a heavy box across the floor than it is an empty box of the same size. Of course, with increased mass, a Tesla would need more power to accelerate at this quick rate. The Plaid Model S just barely tried to make 0 to 60 within the 2 second mark as it approached land acceleration limits of a car sized and shaped object. That's why, with the Roadster, Tesla is phoning up SpaceX to obtain this extra boost. At these insane levels of acceleration, it does start to become dangerous to experience this kind of high g-force for some people. Elon Musk maintains that the functionality will be safe, but it will also be very intense and not very friendly to those with medical conditions. According to popular mechanics, some roller coasters burst out 4 or 5 g's of force, but just for fractions of a second, and fighter pilots are trained to withstand 8 or 9 g's of force for extended periods of time. They cite that those types of forces could injure or even kill a normal person. But this appears to be overblown in this case, as Tesla's roadster exerts just 2.5 g's of force, assuming a constant acceleration. While this seems like a lot, it's significantly lower than the forces cited in the article that apply to real roller coasters, keeping in mind that a roller coaster has the advantage of dropping its passengers from a height. That said, it's still unclear what Elon Musk is planning in order to make this mode safe. The most obvious solution would be to leverage Tesla's machine learning and vision capabilities to check for people, cars, and other objects in the path of acceleration or behind the vehicle near the thrusters. Tesla can even use its internal facing camera to verify that all of the passengers are buckled in and in a ready state, perhaps at least with their eyes open, before allowing the driver to enter Spaceballs mode. Worse comes to worse, customers who purchase the Roadster's SpaceX package may see their brains go into their feet. The Roadster is being priced starting at $200,000. It's still not known what the SpaceX package will add to the price of the vehicle. So do you think the new Roadster will take over the high-end luxury vehicle space, especially with its unique SpaceX offering that separates Tesla from all the other players? And are you yourself looking to get a Roadster perhaps in the future? Please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Thank you guys so much for watching.